I, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it's worth, let's get this merch, subscribe to the PDH Network, I, y'all see what we got going on here, as y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title, under the thumbnail, yeah man, today's video is dealing with your homeboy and take off girlfriend, now she finally has something to say, I know it's a lot of people out there trying to understand, why did it take her so long to say anything? Y'all gotta understand the reason why, man. When you got somebody like Jay Prince and the mob ties that's behind her, what you think she gonna say? She gonna say whatever them folks tell her to. And that's real talk, man. And that's something that y'all gotta be aware of. Matter of fact, Jay Prince is only allowing the people to speak who's on their side. You understand? Meaning that if you have no affiliation to the mob ties and you gonna tell everything, you the person who they don't want speaking to those people, man. The reason being, because you may slip up and say something go against Jay Prince narrative and we know he don't want nobody doing that because you really gonna let them people know hey man no this what happened because a b c d the bogus dice came out after that everything went up but like I stated before for some reason don't nobody want to talk about the bogus dice man that's what popped off the whole situation between Jay Prince Jr. and Quavo but again like I stated man you gotta take off girlfriend she trying to understand what's going on and why Jay Prince is out there running his mouth. If he wasn't even there. But at the same time, see a lot of folks in the ATL already know that Quavo, he was always around Jazz and his pops Jay Prince. But at the same time, a lot of people is not used to seeing Takeoff around them. So with that being said, you got some people who feel like Takeoff shouldn't have went. And one of those people who feel that way is Takeoff girlfriend. She is familiar with Takeoff not ever want to go to the same events that Quavo would go to with Jazz and his brother Jay Prince Jr. So I have a correspondent try to understand why did Takeoff go to that private event in the first place if he wasn't used to being around Jay Prince Jr. mob ties. I'm gonna let her explain the reason why Takeoff girlfriend was okay with going to Jay Prince Jr. private event with Takeoff. All right, so honestly and truly, it's easy in retrospect for us all to know what happened and say, oh, well, they sh just shouldn't have gone to the event. But if we really think about it, we have to realize that this situation was a lot more complex than we all think. So initially, sure, Takeoff wasn't used to attending those sorts of events and neither was his girl. However, we have to realize that if they are approached by his uncle, Quavo, for attending what is called a quote-unquote private event. Because the reason why Quavo approached both of them to come to the event, because Jay Prince was the one that asked them if they would come to his son's private event. You understand? Like I said it before, that's because Jay Prince, the pops, he actually wanted all three to attend. But again, like I keep telling these folks, Offset, he didn't want to go. Offset had it set already in his mind that he was not ever being around Jay Prince or his son's mob ties. So again, Takeoff, he had a different approach. He had a different approach. We have to remember that Takeoff, he has a loyalty to his group Migos. And especially Quavo at the time where him and Quavo were doing a lot of different events and music together as a duo. So with that said... When they are approached for an invite, which would have been best case scenario, all three of them, then that makes Takeoff feel obligated to attend with Quavo in order to fulfill an obligation and in order to fulfill a promotion of networking. And then also we have to remember that if it is stated that it's going to be a private event, that comes with some assumptions of security that it's only going to be invite only and the in and the people that attend will have higher status and have something to lose along with you so you think that you're not going to have to worry about any sort of uh, violence or security breaches in any way and so but right there what you just said that's the issue that takeoff girlfriend is having because she feels like takeoff should have been better protected especially if they invited him out you understand she's coming from the perspective of she watched the whole dice game pop off she's seen the interaction between quavo and jay prince jr when again when them bogus dice came out and quavo had something to say about it so she was right there along with takeoff when takeoff was trying to tell quavo hey man let's get up out of here this ain't my type of party you know what i'm saying so what i'm saying is 
the girlfriend, takeoff girlfriend, is coming from the perspective of none of this would have never happened if these guys that's of an upper echelon would have been better protected. You know what I'm saying? And we have to remember, though, is that takeoff is basing his decision on the trust and the word of first his uncle Quavo and Quavo's affiliation with mob ties and all of their affiliates. So he was relying on that protection. He was relying on that um, organization of uh, putting on that event in a reparable manner. So it would be a little bit more easy to understand why they would be initially attending. However, there is one big elephant in the room, which is the clue to the whole situation of why they shouldn't have gone, maybe, is what had just recently happened with Duke the Jeweler. Same thing goes for Chicago's own Duke the Jeweler. We want to say rest in peace to Duke the Jeweler, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in Chicago. Let's pay our respects and say rest in peace to take off, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in the ATL. Hey man, Quavo, you gotta let the mob ties know that they gotta tell them people who actually sent up takeoff. Same thing with Duke the Jeweler. Duke the Jeweler was sent up with a previous uh, situation attending the same sort of private event, a gambling private event in the same city. True, but see, and you know what's even crazy about that situation since you brought up Duke is that they say, you know, people get sent up in threes. So the reason why I bring that up, because hanging around the mob ties, it's been in threes. So we have Duke, who was first. It happened in August, beginning of August. Then we had J. Prince Jr. cousin, whom is J. Prince's nephew. He got sent up a month after Duke. Barely. It was barely like two or three weeks later. What was that up north in uh, North Houston? And then behind that, a month after that, in October, right? Takeoff, he gets sent up. So you had August, Duke the jeweler. September, it was J. Prince nephew. October, October, it was takeoff. So again, that's why they say it come in threes. You understand? So this means that J. Prince, he got to change the mentality of the mob ties. If not, this going to continue. And a lot of people in Chicago, the ATL, and even Houston, they don't agree with none of this activity. And so we have to realize that sometimes you have to read the tea leaves and you have to look for patterns. And so in that situation... Takeoff and his girl should have considered in that moment the fact that there had been the same attendees at a private gambling event in Houston affiliated with mob ties and something popped off. And so that really should have uh, made them cautious about attending this particular event. And so maybe that is why Takeoff's girl is deciding to come out and speak on the situation because she might be feeling overwhelmed with the emotions that she's having to deal with and grieving. And at first she was deciding to stay quiet, but sometimes the emotions can overtake the original logic that she was using and saying, it's best that I stay out of it and stay quiet. And now at this point, she just might be overwhelmed and needs to get it off her chest. And so we'll just have to find out what she ends up disclosing as she continues to uh, reveal different elements of that event and that night. That's true. And along with that, I know it's a lot of people out there saying that, you know, Jay Prince got arrested by the feds. That's not true. It was actually Jay Prince's nephew, the brother of Jay Prince's nephew, who got blinked down in September, right behind Duke the jeweler. So his brother is the one that the feds picked up. You understand? A lot of people thought it was Jay Prince. You had some people thought it was Jay Prince Jr. No, man, it's the family. You understand? The people, see, they feel like if they can't get enough information out of you, then they just go to your family. It's always been like that. You understand? See, them people, they're going to want to talk to family that they know is part of that street activity. You understand? Now, that's the reason why one of Jay Prince's nephews was sent up and the other brother tried to come back and defend him. But that's what we're talking about here. We're not trying to have this back and forth go on between black men. We got a family to look after and we got children to raise. You feel me? And they all need our protection. That's the reason why we really have to think about the things we do before we do it. And also, we have to be aware of the people that we hang around because everybody don't have your best interests at heart. And that's something we all have to understand. So that's the reason why you always have to be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we get more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth.
Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.